Hey the berries, Bizzleberry here bringing you a warding guide. Um, I get a lot of comments when I'm streaming how I pull off some of the, the wards. Um, there are some easy tricks to learn and I highly advise you once you watch this video, jump into the practice tool, spend 15-20 minutes just learning some of these ward locations and then you'll be ready to do them in your solo queue games. Um, a lot of these warding tricks are, you know, relatively easy once you know how to do it. Uh, usually there's little um like graphical things on the map that you can use as uh things to click on but the number one tip i'm going to give you is you can actually use your space bar to sense your camera in order to make these world spots happen um the reason why you want to do this is because for example if you click on the ward you see this circle here if you move your camera over it actually changes where the circle ends up so that you can actually see this more clearly in the top lane so i'll show you this top lane ward in a second but uh, if you go here in this in this crack here and you've got the circle uh, you can see how it ends just before the tip of this tree if you actually move your camera over look how fast the circle at the edge of the circle randomly goes so there, there is there is height in league and um yeah the circle moves in certain locations of the map so whenever you do these ward locations, spacebar is going to be your best friend. But we'll cover this top one uh, in a bit. Uh, I am a support main, so I'll be covering the support ones first because I'm sure that's the ones that you guys would be looking for forward to the first. Um, we'll start off with some basic ones. So the bot lane ones. If you're on red side and you're coming over and you want to ward this tri brush, uh, the safest way to save you a second is actually, once again, using spacebar, is to come over here behind this rock and you see the tip of this tree here the very tip of this of this tree this uh, is sticking out this leaf if you actually just ward there on the tip you ward over into the tri brush now this saves you from having to go basically like this and if there's an enemy jungler there then a they can see you for sure and b you know now you have to Spend an extra half a second to a second getting back to the point where you could have been. So once again, let me just dump these wards in this brush. So once again, to the rock. Center your camera. Cursor on the tip of this tree. Ta-da. Very easy once you know. And a lot of this video will have lots of little things like this that you have to remember. But the furthest leaf away on this tree equals the tri brush. Now, this is the, the ward I'm going to do right now is probably the deemed as the hardest ward. But honestly, once you know how to do it, you can do it extremely easy. Um, there are two things to look out for this one. Once again, since your camera, when you do so, you're looking for this scratch in the wall here. It's like a little black scratch outline here. You want to right click on the center of that, sensor your camera, and then in this brush here, in, there are some pebbles. So you see these little round circles. You want There's a tiny one at the bottom. You want to go for the one above the tiny one. And then you want to aim on the right hand side of this pebble. Like that. And you can do that pretty, once you know those two locations, you can do it pretty, you know, fluently. Um, it's very easy to do. So click there. Boom. Uh, this is huge. Um, this means that you don't have to go all the way around like this to get a war down. Look how much time you save by doing that. Um, there are some downsides to this ward. As, as good as that try ward is. Let me put the ward there. It won't give you vision of the blast cone, so you won't be able to auto hit pop it. That's like the downside. Um, so if you wanted to do that, you would still have to put a fresh ward over there like that to then pop it or go array around if you want to pop it. Another ward down here. If you're doing the, if you're red side, actually, let's do this one. If you're red side and you want to get a ward in this brush here because you think the enemy jungle is in the brush, Got this little waterfall uh, feature here. There's a line here where it, where the the water vertically drops down. On the left of this center rock, 
on the line anywhere like in the center of this line here really you just want to click here to ward over into that brush once again you can do that with centering your camera and that's how you do it now we're going to be looking at the pits now so dragon pit you got a little friendly snail hiding behind the brush. If you just click on the snail to ward, you'll get that ward into the dry brush. That's a very easy one. Once you know about the snail, the sneaky snail to help you out. Pretty sure Riot adds these things to help out. Uh, this barren one for the dry brush up here is a little bit more difficult if you don't know how. So there's this triangle stone here and this tree. If you actually just hover your mouse over the connection between them when the two of those assets kind of merge together come on don't let me down don't let me down it's gonna let me down isn't it you can get it i originally thought the location was here but it's a little bit lower Just a little bit lower. So when they're merging in, in imagine the, the stone is behind the tree a little bit. Just go for that. This is with the camera centered. You can also go... Baron's noisy, man. All right, chill, chill, chill. So that's how you do that one. It's a little bit trickier than the, uh, the obvious snail one. Now this top one, as a support main, you won't likely be using this much if you're a top lane you should be using this one all the time this one's a real tricky one i actually had difficulty with this one and i had to spend a lot of time in practice tour uh, and that's where i figured out if you center the cam then you can get more reliable options for some reason on this top side of the map it's um a there's less features for you to identify to click onto and b you've got this whole you know the circle issue that i talked about earlier so the easiest way I managed to do this one reliably is if you go, for, some people talk about this crack down here, um, but actually if you use this, this crack up the top here, center your camera. Now you see this pointy out bit of the tree. Now you want to go across over a little bit and then ward there. And that one's going to be hard, harder for you to remember potentially, but the center cam is is with the space bar is is huge here so once again walk over to the crack just click on the crack space bar you see this little leaf here it's in the brush that one's tricky that took me a long time to work out and how to make it reliably because people there are ways that you can get it a little bit safer by doing it from here but it's completely dependent on where your camera positioning is. And doing it with spacebar, I wasn't able to reliably find a way because the ward will end up here or over here in the lane. So, um, yeah, that this, this one here where you just go over spacebar, boom. That, that's, that, that's a really fast, reliable way to do it. Um, I highly suggest using my method there in order to get that ward over the wall. And now we're going to be talking about the two mid lane wards. So if you position yourself in between directly in the middle of the turret and the wall, press space bar. You see there's a V twig here at the very bottom on the left. With the little V shaped twig that's sticking out. If you put your cursor in, the, in between that V, you can hit that ward every time. So in between the turret, center your camera, cursor in the V, ward in the brush. Easy as that. You can also ward the other side as well. So let's just put a target dummy here. Just so the turret hits that instead of me. Position yourself in the middle again. Now this one is trickier. Um, there's a leaf that sticks out here at the bottom of this tree. So you're looking for this one here, that the one that's sticking down at the most. Just the second most one sticking at the thin one, the thin that little leaf there. That's the one you're looking for. Both those wards involve you being in the middle of the turrets. But it's this one here. Right there. 
Actually, you can use both. Huh, <laughs> now I learned something. So you can use the bottom, the bottom one. So let's use the tip of, of, uh, of one of these leaves down here. There you go. I don't believe there's any other crazy wards um, to actually talk about. Um, you know, there's some similarities. You know, once you know how to do those wards, those are the main ones, really. Um, this one here, if you're a support main, I highly advise you to train if you're blue side, which will be half of the time. The top lane one is, I think, every every top laner will need to know if you're playing up on that top side. The mid lane wards are going to be useful not only for mid laners but also for you know anyone in general in the area at the time. And you know this, this is a crafty little little ward here for if you're red side if you want to check out this brush. Remember, it's just the pointy bit of this this tree here. So I advise you to jump into your own practice tool and if you can have messed around for 15, 20 minutes. What you want to do, all you need to do, is put your um, re auto refresh cooldowns on which is the hotkey for that is shift X and it will basically make it so that your ward trinket is has infinite you put infinite wards down essentially um, other than that and it's just a little cheeky short little warding guide video um, you know I'm sure you guys know the importance of warding and things like that but there's some ward tricks here that you know even some high yellow players aren't even aware of um, you know, it's definitely worth learning as there will be some situations that it will save literally win you the game or save you, you from like embarrassment in, in getting ganked uh, with some of those cool world tricks. So use them, learn them, practice them, and let me know how you do. So take care, guys. Just a very, very quick, short video. And uh, I'll see you on stream if I see you there at twitch.tv slash Take care, guys.